Good morning everybody. Welcome to Suna M Design Eating Crochet Embroidery Weavings Arts and Craft. How you all doing today? It's very very cold. It's only um seven degrees uh, at two thirty three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, at present moment I'm making a rope. Just crochet uh, with a bulky three strand of yarn. One one skein of yarn with three strand. So yeah, I nearly there. I bought a class uh, from Domestica about how to coil them, but they need the rope. So I don't have the rope that thick, uh, six millimeter rope. So I thought I got the idea of, uh, I got the yarn. So I crochet them. This is what it look like, the thickness. Six millimeter crochet hook. And uh, three strand of yarn. And you can do, do the S shape. And pull from the skein so yeah I got radio at the background so to entertain me so I think this is about enough already I think and let me have a look how many I got I'll show you how to coil them it's pretty easy the teacher are very nice she's from Senegal this is based on Senegal, Africa. Inspired. So, yeah. Like I say, this is a channel of learning. Whatever I'm learning a new thing, I will pass through to my channel. So, give me a second. Uh, let me check how many I got. Uh, quite long. Uh, it is quite long. That's enough for today. I can continue with that. Uh. See, just simple chain. Okay. Three strand of yarn. I can see. Pull. Pull. I do just one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think make it 30. No need to count, just chain away. Just give me a second, I need to lower the radio before they put copyright issue again. So I just cut it off. So this is a, that, a rope. You don't have to buy a rope. You got the recycle uh, scrap yarn. Doesn't matter what color. Just uh, strand it up like uh, get the yarn. Go like that. Like that. And one more like that, and then pull. That's three strands of yarn, okay? So that's how you do. Just give me a second. Okay, you need a scrap yarn. I'll show you how to coil them. Uh, get the thing ready we got okay I'm gonna coil them with blue you need about three meter two to three meter of uh, yarn for coiling and you need the tapestry needle Tapasri needle. Okay, let's start coiling them. Put it bottom. Okay. 
uh, choose whatever color because I want to make a pattern so I attach it now attach other other colors so I got black red and blue blue is gonna be the main one uh, main color Okay, what you do, you attach with the needle, put it down, take the other side of the thing, put it down to the rope itself, to the rope itself. Lay down like that. And this tail also you can lay down like that. And then just get the blue Just coil away eight times. Ah, uh, this is uh, to start the twelfth time. Approximately twelve time. You don't have to be perfect. About inch, inch, inch and a half. I think inch, inch and a half. Just coiling first, inch and a half. Like that. And then you fold it in half, fold it in half, Okay, that's approximately inch and a half, just a bit more. Get the needle, go in the middle, the hole, and pull. Well done, you just make a coil. You see that? A coil. Now, now coil it away. First start is a bit uh, fiddly, but as soon as you start about two, three coil, just make it one and a half. Put in the middle. You can tuck it in. The tail of the you cut it off. Don't worry. So just do one, two, three, three, four. No need to count. Just uh, eyeball for one and a half inches. Okay, approximately one inches to one and a half inches. One inches is enough for the one inches. One inches, not one and a half. One inches. Yep, one inches.
another one inches coil it just go round and round and round go in the middle you can see that the hole there go in the middle and do it again Go in the middle, always in the middle. Go in the middle. Go in the middle, always in the middle. Quite, 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 and then put your the needle in the middle. As tight as possible, not too tight, not too loose. between 8 to 10 wrap sufficient enough between 8 to 10 wrap and go in the middle pull see that? that's the coil then go again You're doing this as long as you want, but because I'm uh, about approximately two and a half inches uh, wide, I will make a pattern, just a simple pattern. So you can do any pattern. If you've got graph, you can use that too. Like... Uh, you know you got tapestry uh, crochet pattern or pixel pattern you can use that too I have to attach another uh, 3 meter blue color because it's short now and pull the thing you get that so get another three meter. Oops, oops.
one meter two three don't have to be exactly but one is lot with a needle put the needle through put it up and the other end find the other end Okay, got the other end. This crochet um three um and a uh, super bulky using the the S method. It's equivalent to six millimeter. Um rope okay so just attach like that and then join again start coiling again four five six seven eight and go in the middle Pull along, I'm gonna tangle. Pull. Pull the thing, then start coiling again. Go in the middle, poke the needle, poke the middle, in the needle in the middle, and pull. Congratulations, you just done a coiling. So now you can make anything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go in the middle again. Let's see, I do the needle. In the middle, pull. That's it. That's how easy to do coiling. Okay? Using a crochet hook, uh, rope. Go in the middle again. That's what it looks like at present stage. So just coil, 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 coil until two and a half, and then make a pattern. The pattern is very easy pattern. Um, it just. that pattern so yeah and then after that love heart and Let me draw. Love heart pattern. So any pattern. That's what I say. The graph. If you have the graph. You can translate it to your 
to your basket making this is going to be a basket so if they require a rope definitely when you want to do coiling oh. you don't have to buy a rope you got the scrap yarn whatever color it is doesn't really matter just make sure that you uh, three strand them the way I show you the, the, the S method from one skein of yarn and become a loop like that and you can use it so you don't have to go and buy a rope just need six millimeter crochet hook and a, a skein of yarn worsted weight I'm going to show you the pattern soon, okay? I know that it's only one inches. I want to do uh, two inch two to two, two, uh, two and a half inches wide. This only one inches. One, one and a half inches. Let me do anti two. I'll be right back. Okay, approximately two inches. So nearly there. So now, you um, take it out the needle from the blue one, the main uh, color. You take it out. You lay the yarn on top of the rope. And you take out, because we already attached the red and the, the uh, CC color, the contrast color, black and red. So just take which one first you want to do. I'm doing red, so I just coil eight times one two three four five uh should i do five six seven eight yeah eight times and then uh get the other Strand, put the needle through, put the needle through and poke it in the middle there and pull the yarn through. This one tangle up with the black. We no need to use the black yet until the give me a second the thing got tangled. Okay, pull it in the middle, and pull it down, take it up the needle put it on the blue it's a bit fiddly because you have to change the needle unless you uh, got a lot of needle and attach three at one time it depends up to you 
up to you okay then coil eight time again Seven, seven, eight. Blue color. Go in the middle. Hi, Shu Shu. Then coil again. Um, you space it up. See, you want to make it uh, one here, one here, one here, one here. So like a cross, like that. So you just adjust your um, coiling. How wide you want it to be, how much space you want it to be. So yeah, it's all up to you. The design is all up to you. Eight, eight coil. One last with uh, should be that, that. Okay, now doing the red. Get the yarn. Put the needle through. It best you have a the needle for each color. I think that's what I'm going to do. Eight. So I don't have to take it up and put in to get up, put in. See that? <sighs> now change to blue. Eight. Eight coil. So yeah, guys, this is how you do coiling, guys. Uh, to make a pattern. Like I say, you don't have to buy a rope. You make your own rope using a, uh, uh, one, one skein of yarn. 
let me show you how to do the the s uh to make it three strand see the edges of the the yarn fold in half and then pull this one down this loop down and pull the thing inside and pull it out that become three strand of yarn okay i do it again one more time take the 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 tail fold in half fold in half and take this one put it down and then pull the yarn through in the middle and that is three strand of yarn okay that's how you do it and uh coiling is eight times first started is always 12 for the middle one is 12 and then eight 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 eight, eight, eight. Or 10, 10, 10, 10, and then 8, 8, 8. It's up to you. And you can change uh, as many colors as you want. See, like this one going to be a pattern. Going to be a simple cross pattern. So I already done red. So the second round go here. And then black. And then red. Red, black, red. And then after that blue right through. So yeah, that's the pattern. Okay. It's very simple. So. I got one more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Put it to middle. Change color to the red. Put the red up. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Pull in the middle. That's it. And then pull in the middle. I mean out out to the thing and then put it in the middle and take the blue one again and coiling with the blue one. That's it. Now just have to put red color here and then finish it off. Have to do four times. This is one time, two, three, four. Yeah, one red color here. I mean, because I run out on yarn, so I have to attach the yarn. So this is how you do coiling, guys. It's very, very simple. You can do whatever pattern you want to do. It will come out. Turn out beautiful. And uh, to make a basket, you just lay. To make it a basket uh, stand up, you just lay on top. Or slightly at the bottom, like that. So this going to go wider. This going to go inside. If you put on top. Guys, if you like this channel, please hit subscribe button and like button. I highly appreciate it. My name is Serena. Welcome to Serena M. Designing Thing, Crochet, Embroidery, Weavings, Arts and Craft. 
at present moment we are coiling uh, with the um, crochet rope so this is the title called crochet rope uh, coiling basket so yeah stay tuned part two i will show you uh, what it look like in the part two so yep that's it for today bye